So I'm going to change gear a little bit and talk about uninterruptible power supplies. And specifically, a new product that we developed and launched for the North American market in September of last year, which is right here in front of you, the VH series. So historically, UPSs were really developed as backup power sources. And uh, as the, the world has changed, we've got much more electrical demand. Uh, the UPS now functions both as a backup energy source and as a power conditioner. So if you have a good UPS, it will both provide backup energy when the utility fails and power conditioning when the utility isn't really providing the level of voltage that you require for a critical load. So as you can see from here, less than 10% of power failures that are observed from the utility are pure blackouts. It's actually about 8%. There's a lot of power, uh, power irregularities that are, can, are, are happening on the utility that a good UPS will protect against. So the UPS sits between the utility provision and your critical load. This could be a PC, a telecom rack, an MRI machine, basically anything that depends on a continuous, good, stable supply of electricity for operation and conditions the load if the utility fails, then the UPS will kick in and provide a battery source so your load is continually provided. Then it gives the load time to shut down or continue its operation until its operation is completed and then have a graceful shutdown so you don't lose any data and you don't compromise the hardware attached to the UPS. Some examples here of exactly what goes on when the utility fails. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find a, a good representation from Superstorm Sandy, but that's probably the most recent dramatic example we have of power losses. I'm sure several of you saw news reports showing transformers exploding in substations. Um, part of the problem is that the utility wasn't really designed for today's power-hungry electricity requirements. It was designed for, for motors, for light bulbs, for refrigerators. And a lot of those substations that the example of the transformer exploding comes from have been designed with really a 40-year maximum life but are operating now at 50-plus years. So we're not getting the voltage we need. The utility isn't as reliable as it needs to be for our PCs and our MRI machines and so forth. And our power consumption is increasing. So we're using more power and we're getting less power than we used to get. So UPS is critical. CNN have indicated, I think, uh, since 2004, blackouts have been on the increase 124%. So it's not getting any better. Um, and additionally, in some very, very dense states like New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, they're averaging about 200 minutes of downtime a year. And that's purely based on transmission and distribution. That's not based on any force majeure kind of stuff. That's just based on the distribution of the power that's coming from the, uh, the power stations. So if I'm managing a, a retail store and I need to keep my registers going, or if I'm administering a hospital, or even if I'm just posting a web address, I need to have a UPS to make sure that when the utility fails or drops below what it needs to be, I can still continue operation. As you can see from here also, power contributes nearly half of the unexplained behaviors that damage hardware. So if you've got a big power surge going into your PC, you might not actually register any strange behavior from your PC, but you're going to be heating up components, cooling down components, heating up components again. So you're damaging your, your hardware. So a good UPS, We'll make sure you're getting power conditioning, you're getting backup energy when the utility fails, and you're not seeing this level of strange behaviors uh, to your hardware. So onto a bit more specific about GE's UPS. We have a full range of products. I'm showing here the North American product lines. Uh, my responsibility is actually global, so we do have a full range of, of global products, both IEC and UL products for the North American market. From 400 VA, up to 4 MVA. So where you may have a tender that calls for multiple ratings across one project, chances are we can meet those requirements. So we have a full range of products. 
We're present in almost 150 countries around the world, so really good product representation globally. And then we have a vast service network supporting all of this. So we're really a proven player in this market. We have very, very powerful technology, uh, very creditable supplier and a, and a leader really in the, in the UPS field around the world. I'm going to go on to some specifics about, about our new product, the VH series. VH stands for vertical and horizontal, very sophisticated naming. Um, VH series is our new single phase UPS, currently up to 2K VA. So it starts at 700 VA, goes up to 2K VA. In the coming months, we're extending that to a 3K VA product line as well. And when we went through the design, this was really designed from the bench up at our headquarters in Rietzino in Switzerland. We had four key areas in mind. So we considered reliability, continuity, flexibility, and compatibility. They were really the, the areas we wanted to focus on. So in terms of reliability, this is a, a double conversion UPS. That's the best type of UPS technology available. And we've added some bells and whistles to that high level of technology to really make the VH series a, a king in its class. So reliability, designed to the highest spec level that we could, but also uh, Lee touched upon this also before. Our warranty that we stand behind is an industry lead warranty. So almost, other UPS, almost all other UPS vendors will offer two year warranty on the UPS and 12 months warranty on the battery. The bells and whistles I mentioned, I'll talk a little bit more in detail about, but they allow us to offer and stand behind a three year warranty both for the UPS and for the battery. So really an industry leading warranty. In terms of continuity, the UPS offers a really fast transition to bypass and to battery. And there are some unique functions inside the UPS that allow us to do that. So when the utility fails, the transition onto the energy source to make sure that your load is, continued to, is, is continually supplied is instant. You really see no change in the UPS behavior when it's operating from the utility to when it's operating from battery. Additionally, there's the battery replacement procedure for the UPS, and we have one here, so do feel free to come and take a look at it. Um, the battery replacement is really, really fast. I've timed myself doing it, and I'm not the most nimble person on earth. It takes me about 40 seconds. So you can do that while the UPS is in operation. You don't need to downtime your load. You can just keep the UPS operating, swap out the battery tray, whack in another battery tray. Very, very fast process. Flexibility. As you can see here, we've got this in tower format at the moment, kind of like a PlayStation 2 setup with its little feet. Um, this is also a rack mount UPS. This is the 2 kVA model. The 3 kVA model will be the same size as this, and it's tower or rack. So as your network designs change, the UPS can change with it. And you don't have to decide at time of ordering if it's going to be rack mounted or tower assembled. Everything comes in the packing box with the UPS, so you can set it up however you need to. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, the UPS operates as a pure frequency converter. A lot of other UPSs will claim they can, but they can't. They don't have enough capacitors inside. It's just physically not possible for them to operate full time as a, as a frequency converter. So 50 or 60 hertz can operate as a frequency converter change. Compatibility. So the VH series has a high output power factor. This means you're getting more actual power to the load, and you're not being charged for it. So very efficient design, very well suited for power dense servers and so forth. Also, USB as communication is standard, and then we've got multiple communication options. So if you do have serial connection or you want to network manage the UPS, you can do that very easily. Just going to highlight a couple of unique features about the product. The first is very unique to GE. This is our seven stage battery management protocol. This is designed also for, for several of, other, of our other UPSs. This is really designed to make sure that when you need the battery to work, the battery works. Battery technology hasn't changed an awful lot in 100 years. So we have to make sure that when we design the UPS, we're designing it in such a way that the battery is not going to be your critical point of failure when you really need the battery to be operating. 
Also, we have what's called a fail-safe bypass in the UPS. This is, I mentioned before, a really fast transition bypass. All of the other UPSs that we've looked at use relays. We use a static switch. So it's an actual static switch bypass, very, very fast, very, very low failure rate. Relays have quite a high failure rate. So we have a static switch in there. This allows us to have some very specific functionality. That takes me really to the last specific point that I want to raise, which is the high peak load handling that the UPS can offer. All other UPSs, when you read their operating manuals, will say, do not use this UPS to support a printer or a similar type load because they can't tolerate this high peak load handling. What happens is every other UPS will go to battery and flip flap between battery and utility. And after a, a short time of, of, of flipping between the battery and having this fast discharge and then recharge and discharge, the battery dies. So because we have this static switch and because we have this very intelligent design inside the UPS, we can transition very, very quickly to bypass. You're not transitioning to battery, so you're not killing the battery. And again, it's a protection level for the battery when you most need it. Typical applications, as the guys have touched upon, this is, this is really a sample list, but the, the list is exhaustive. This is, a, this is a great example. Stadia is a great example where you've got UPSs on the entry gates, you've got UPSs on CCTV, you've got UPSs on, uh, you know, you've got a, a three-phase UPS supporting the whole facility, and then you've got dedicated UPSs dotted around for more critical applications, ticketing machines, and so forth. So this is by no means an exhaustive list, just, just an example. But typically what we'd say is anything that's got a reliance on electrical power, which is pretty much anything, Nowadays, demands a, a, and requires a high-level UPS, and the VH series is, is a, a great, great solution for, for such applications.